Hey everybody, this is Craig and this is Pro Edit Tips. Today we're going to talk about project creation. What do I mean by project creation? Do I mean creating your Adobe Premiere or After Effects or Avid project? No, I'm talking about the workflow around that project. So all the folder structures that you normally would create with that project. Now if you work in film or documentary series and you're working on a project for three months, six months, a year, this is probably not for you. But if you work in short form, music videos, commercials, anything where you're doing a new project every week, every day, maybe several times a day, then you probably have a folder structure that you like to work with on every single project. And the way you create that folder structure can either be tedious, where you literally go in and new folder, and then you name your folder, whatever you're gonna name it, and then you go into that folder, and then you create a bunch more folders, and so on and so forth. But if you've been doing this for a while, you probably have some sort of template set up. As you can see here, I have a template project. In this folder, I have Premiere projects, After Effects projects, renders, delivery, and then in Audition, I have some other folders. And then in the Premiere, I have a footage folder. And then I even have a template project, which is just a blank Premiere project that I'd pre-set up that has a timeline in it with a slate that has some information on it that you can replace and it has all my bins set up. And this is a great way to do it. You can also take that same folder and you could zip it, which I did here, and you can take that zip file and then I could just drag this out into my tutorial projects and then there's my blank folder. But now I need to name this. So this would be like, you know, commercial 001 and then I'd have to go in again and I'd probably want to name that to be the same thing as the folder, commercial 001. Oh, and see now I messed that up. So is there an easier way that we can do it? Here I wrote a program in Python. I call it Project Creator. Double click on it. It opens up this little window. In this thing you can create your project. Show 2. And we'll pick our directory. We're going to put Tutorial Projects. And we'll pick a template. The way I set this program up is it'll recognize Premiere files or After Effects files or if you hit all, it'll just show you everything, even other stuff like the zip. So let's say I select this template project, I hit OK, and let's look at what's going on in here. So when I hit Create Folder, it makes that folder, it names it, what we named it. Inside are all of our subfolders, and then inside of there is our template, and it's named with the same thing as our project name. Let's say I'm working on a Photoshop project today. So we pick the template, and let's call this Print1 create folders, creates the print one. Now also notice it remembered the path to the projects. If I close this out, I open it up again, it still remembers the path and it remembers your last template. Well this Photoshop project, it recognizes that it's a Photoshop file and it makes a different type of project structure for my print projects. In this part of the tutorial, I'm just gonna show you where I uploaded it. I open sourced it on a place called GitHub. If you just go to github.com slash Craig Russo, and you can go to repositories and just click on project creator. And then what I did was I made it super simple for you. This project creator version 14 zip, that is an executable, you can download it for the PC. And then the version 13 Mac zip is an executable for the Mac that you can download. The difference is I made an update in version 14 on the PC, which remembers where your paths were for your template file and for your projects directory. The version 13 for the Mac, if you launch the app again, it'll default to blank. So you'll have to pick those again. In the next video, I'll kind of walk you through my Python code and show you how to make changes because obviously my directory structure is probably not gonna work for you. If you like what you saw, Please subscribe below and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video part two of this.